31-year-old former NBA player, Tony Snell came out and said that he found out he had autism earlier this year. He's a former NBA player, played in the league for the Pelicans, the Hawks, numerous, numerous teams, the Pistons, the Blazers, so on and so forth, the Bucks. I could go on. But he found out that he has autism. And I did some research on this and figured out there are multiple other NBA players to get diagnosed. One of them being Tony Snell, obviously, then Gary Neal, who I had never heard of. Maybe that makes me casual. Royce White is another one I've never heard of. And then this guy I actually had heard of. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm not going to lie. It's, um, oh, I forget exactly the religion, but Muhammad Abdul Rauf. Um, I think you guys have heard of him. I think he played for the, the Grizzlies, the Vancouver Grizzlies, if I'm not. Yep, he did. Uh, he played 41 games for the Grizzlies in 2001, played for the Kings and the Nuggets. He won the most improved player one time, and he was like an all-star caliber player. Never made the all-star team, but was a 19-point-per-game scorer at his peak. So um, it's cool to see that there actually is other company. I never knew that there was an NBA player with autism before. Now, I'm sure that there have been players that were never diagnosed, but Tony Snell is one that has been diagnosed and came out very publicly. I saw a video of him on a news, a news I can't remember the exact news station, but saying that his son was diagnosed, and when his son was diagnosed, he realized, huh, I should probably get checked too, and he did, and he found out that he did have, he did have autism, which is really, really cool to see that he was still able to make the NBA and still have a successful career. Now, autism is definitely not, in all cases, a, I don't know if you call it a disease, but something that limits you, because as you can see, this dude is in the top 1% of top 1% of top 1% of athletes in the world. He's a professional, he was a professional athlete that played good minutes in the NBA, so it doesn't limit you. In certain situations, it, it helps you. And he said it helped him because he was able just to go into gyms and just shoot for hours and hours and hours and not really think of anything of it. He didn't feel like he was doing it because that's just how his autism helped him. So he's played for the Bulls, the Bucks, the Pistons, the Hawks, the Pelicans, and the Blazers. So I nearly named everyone. The only team I forgot was the Bulls, but I remember that now. Um, eight point per game scorer at his peak, eight and a half points and was a six-point-per-game scorer throughout his career. Played multiple seasons, I believe, was, yep, nine years. He's 31 now, and he played in the in the G League last year, I believe, as you can see in this picture right here. But uh, for the main red claws, it's a pretty cool jersey. I've never seen that one before. I don't know if he is still playing. Let me check. Tony Snell, he... Did he play last year? He did play last year for the red claws. He played 30 minutes, averaged 11 points per game. And that is actually his first year in the G League. So, um, pretty cool stat there. But, yeah, very proud for him. Very happy that he came out like this. Um, and, yeah, this just shows that even if you have a disability, you can still become a pro for professional athlete and not treat anyone like that differently. Because he said if he feels like if he was treated differently, he probably never would have been a professional athlete. And, look, he made it, and he was one of the best three-point shooters in the league a few years ago. He had a 50-50-100 season where he was 50% from the field, 50% from three, and 100% from the free throw line. I believe there was two straight years where he didn't miss a single free throw. He's also famous for having that stat line of playing 28 minutes with the Bucks, having zero points, zero rebounds, zero steals, zero assists, zero blocks, zero anything, and zero turnovers. So that was another one. So basically, he was doing cardio the entire time. But hey, he made a ton of money, had a successful career. Definitely a true success story and very cool to hear. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like, though, subscribe, and turn notification bells to all. See you guys later in the next video, and peace.